for France and for Napoleon. These Bonaparte buffs have come to Germany from all over the world, and they're about to reenact one of their hero's most famous victories. Forte! Vos armes! The soldiers here might not be as disciplined as Napoleon's army 200 years ago. Then again, they know history is on their side and that they will defeat the Prussians at the Battle of Jena. Everything's been made to look as realistic as possible. Well, apart from the refreshments, nothing like some German fast food before you march into battle. What makes this encounter such a key event in history is that it was part of Napoleon's grand plan to unite Europe long before Brussels ever tried. The goal that Napoleon wanted to do at one time is to unite Europe under a certain code of law. And basically, it took a little bit more time for Europeans to understand it. Well, they seem to now. Today, even the British have come here to fight on the side of the French. To a large extent, the French are our oldest enemies. But uh, if you can walk a few miles in another man's shoes, you see that uh, being French is really quite a marvelous thing. <laughs> More than 30,000 soldiers were killed in the first Battle of Jena. This rerun will be less bloody. Physical contact is banned, and all the participants know in advance whether they're allowed to survive or whether they have to pretend to die. The French open fire. They clearly overdid the gunpowder with that one. When the smoke clears, the Battle of Jena is raging. This is an odd way to celebrate the coming together of Europe. A thousand men on a battlefield, knocking seven bells out of one another. But to these reenactors, Napoleon's victory in the Battle of Jena 200 years ago marks the first distant step towards a united Europe. Napoleon's troops are in control, the Prussians in trouble. Hats in the air means the French have won again. Long live the Emperor. It was uh, one of the greatest experiences of my life to be here on the battlefield at Jena 200 years after the actual battle was fought and to portray the, the great man himself, Napoleon Bonaparte. But even Napoleon couldn't bring about a united Europe. He had to leave that Herculean task to the EU. Steve Rosenberg, BBC News, Jena.